room sweat. Yeah. By the rocks that I got, I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. Used to have a little, now I have a lot. No matter. Hey everybody, it's Jasmine, and today I have another collaboration video for you guys. I'm collaborating with my good friend Jessica. Her username on YouTube is Yessie Waters. And funny thing, okay, so I was at Bath and Body Works yesterday, and I saw the candle called Jasmine Waters, and I said, "That's us! Like that is us in like a collaboration candle, like." girl let me like we gotta get it like two for 24 girl but um we have prom looks inspired by celebrities mine is JLo hers is Selena and I am gonna show you guys my picture because I edit on iMovie and you can't really like insert a picture like near my shoulder um, but it is just a really nice maroon smoky eye and obviously she has that really beautiful glowy skin so I mean this is the best angle I could show you guys but she just looks so incredibly stunning and she has this white lace dress and I thought it would be perfect for those who are wearing white because I know from my senior year of prom I wore a white lace dress and it just looks so good with any type of makeup look so if you really just don't know what you're gonna do or if your dress is white and you have a red accent color or a maroon accent color like it's a really nice way to incorporate it into a makeup look or you know your cor corsage is that what it's called a corset I don't, <laughs> I don't know but um yeah it's just a really nice easy pop of color and I know that this is just a really nice classic look why is it not focusing on me as always, I am going to be listing her channel at the very end of the video as well as the description box. You guys know the drill with collaboration videos. But I hope you guys really enjoyed my tutorial and if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. We normally associate glowy skin with being well hydrated, so let's start off with moisturizer today. We're using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel with sunscreen. Um, this has hyaluronic acid and it has SPF of 15. But I don't feel like this gives me flashback. Um, I use very little of it. I only use like one pump. To further hydrate my skin, I'll be spraying my face with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. I'm going to be using this throughout the tutorial. So this one's going to be really handy. I'm also really sick today. And I hate it. <laughs> my nose is burning and I feel like I'm going to get really nasally throughout this tutorial so bear with me if my voice changes. Um, and then we're going to be also following this up with a primer. I'm going to be using a lot of things for my base and this is one of them. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the original. I got the big size. This is the 1.7 fluid ounces and I only got it for $24 which is a steal. Who? What? Uh, this stuff is amazing. I've been wanting to get this for the longest time. Basically, it is this, I guess, silicone texture, and I feel like it really blurs my skin. It feels initially very oily, but then once you rub it into the skin and once you really just like get it in there, it's like velvety soft. When we think of JLo and her makeup, we obviously think of the JLo Glow. And I feel like the only primer that I have at the moment that's actually going to give me some type of glow is the Laura Geller Spackle Treatment Even Tone Makeup Primer. I mentioned this in a recent favorites video, and it is just really beautiful. It's like this golden, like, sheened primer. Do you see how, like, my hand reflects that? It is a subtle sheen, but it just it's beautiful and if you have uneven skin like I do as you can see like it's not a full it's not a full yellow um, I'm just gonna apply this all over my face to attempt to just even everything out so we're gonna go in with foundation and I know a lot of us do not have anything to color correct with so I'm just gonna show you guys how I correct my pimples and everything just in case you might have a zit on prom day um, so I have these two you guys can totally see. Um, so I'm going to start off with a hydrating foundation. So this is the Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation in the color Medium Sand. And I'm going to apply a very little bit of this onto my face. So just like gel moisturizers, this gel foundation goes a long way with just a little bit of product. So I'm just going to use whatever is on this little protective cap. And usually I like to just do like two two finger dips in them and I like to spread this across my face and 
I like this foundation because it makes my skin feel very hydrated but at the same time if you set the places you don't want to get shiny it's gonna stay it's gonna stay like that and if anything if you're like super super oily I mean I'm not super oily um, your oil will break through in this one but if you're drier to normal skin then I feel like you would really love this foundation this foundation is darker than my actual skin tone right now but I will I will tan in the summer this is like only a shade and a half darker than me so it's like not that bad but it is still darker nonetheless so I'm just gonna take a beauty blender and I'm just going to blend this into the skin and I'm gonna use my mirror because I can't see <laughs> It was so hard for me to find my foundation color in this foundation because there were no testers and then when I tried to open this one because I ended up testing the Amazonian clay foundations um, like on my neck and stuff I was testing those because they have the same color names so I was like okay well let me test these on my neck and then I figured out medium sand was like the closest out of the bunch and so when I opened the package because it had fingerprints all on it like the whole entire package was just filled and I opened the package and then the cap had fingerprints on it as well and I was like oh my god so I unscrewed it and then the Ulta employee like she didn't say excuse me ma'am like it's our policy she said you if you're gonna open that you have to pay for it like she literally said that she yelled it across the like aisle and I'm like you can't just politely tell me like obviously I didn't know that and I don't know I don't care if she was having a bad day because honestly every single time I go into the Ulta near my house they always give me attitude like they always have something to say to me you know and I'm not there to steal I like I have bad eyesight sometimes so I'm always like super up close to products like reading it or like really up close to the shelf trying to read it and it's like they think that I'm just gonna like snatch something and put it in my like purse or something and like mind you I don't even bring big purses I bring like those like little small ones and I'm like I don't have time like honestly I don't have time to steal your products I'm sorry I just don't but yeah, I just don't like treat. I don't like the way they treat me. While my foundation settles into my skin, I'm just gonna start by doing my eyebrows. I'm obviously going to like conceal and everything afterwards. But for now, I'm gonna take the Elf Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. JLo's eyebrows in the picture that I'm referring to are very bushy and feathery. Like they're not bushy, like as in like thick. They are just they're really like lightly feathered and. It looks like she filled them in with eyebrow powder, but obviously my eyebrows are totally uneven, so we're gonna have to work with that. So I'm just going to take one side of this and I'm just gonna brush my hair upward. And this is just going to make my eyebrows look fuller than they already are. I'm gonna use my Brow Powder Duo by Anastasia in the color Ebony. I'm going to use the lighter shade with the Real Techniques Brow Brush. And I'm just gonna start by filling my eyebrows in, I've been kind of doing it a little bit different. So instead of starting at the bottom, I start at the top. I start at the arch up here, and then I bring it down. And then I kind of just fill in my tail just a little bit. And then I like, I like to drag the color down. And then I do have some sparser areas, so I'm just gonna take the darker side, just one tap, that's all I need. And I'm just gonna start by filling in those spaces that are not fully filled in. You don't wanna go too overhanded because I know brow powders, you know, you can easily just build up. So just take your time and like do short strokes. I know it looks like I'm going really fast, but just work with it slowly. I'm gonna outline my eyebrows with some concealer. I'm gonna use the Shape Tape in the color Medium. So this is the finished brow. I know that JLo's eyebrows are a lot more straighter than mine, but I just wanted to fill in my eyebrows naturally because we all have different eyebrow shapes and I know that's probably her natural eyebrow shape. And so I'm just gonna take the light medium um, shape tape by Tarte and I'm just gonna apply this in the areas I want to highlight. I think the 
one thing that I love about Jessica is that she's so nice. Like, she's honestly, like, been a long-time subscriber. And I honestly didn't know she made videos until she asked me, Hey, uh, can we collab? And I was like, oh my god, you make YouTube videos? Like, shut up. And so I watched her videos, and it's so well put together. It's like... She really, like, her voiceovers, I don't know, her voiceovers in her TJ Maxx video, I was like, is she really talking, like, in the camera, or is it, a, like, is it, like, at home? And I was like, oh my god. But, um, she is literally so relatable and so real. It's insane, and I'm so disappointed in myself that I have not watched her videos before she even told me she had videos, but then at the same time, knowing me, I hate it when people promote their channel on my videos, <laughs> but I mean, she is so nice and sweet. Um, we've been like talking on Twitter a lot and it's amazing. So with the concealer, you guys can totally tell it's now my skin tone and it is just looking right. Um, you could see when I smile that I have like this glow on my cheeks and that's because it was a primer. It was <laughs> But um, I'm going to further conceal this pimple. This one's pretty concealed from the concealer that I used to outline my eyebrow. But I'm just going to go ahead because, you know, pimples just, they can't show during prom. So I'm going to take the medium shape tape and I'm going to apply the littlest amount because this stuff goes a long way. So I'm just going to dot this here and I think I have one on my chin. Yeah. So I'm going to let that settle in and I'm going to lightly set my face now with some translucent powder just under my eye so I don't crease on my forehead so I don't get oily and bake the sides of my nose and all that jazz. So I'm just going to start by taking the RCMA No Color Powder. I mixed it in with my Cody Airspin Powder but majority of it is, yeah, it's the RCMA powder. So I'm going to take the tip of my beauty blender and I'm just going to go directly under my eyes. And when you, if you do have this powder, I would recommend like whisking it fully off your face because if you don't, then it's going to actually give you a white cast. So you want to make sure that doesn't happen. I usually crease on like the top of my forehead right here. That's my problem area. I already started doing this, but what I like to do is I like to tap down the concealer with my pinky and then the extra product around the pimple, I'm going to blend it out. I am not going to blend over the pimple at all. I'm just going to blend out the ring because it's supposed to be meshing with my own skin. I'm going to take some more translucent powder. And I'm going to set right on top of these areas just so, just in case, you never, you never know. You know, you know? And so I'm just going to start by doing my eyes now. I'm actually so happy on how this eye look turned out because it turned out exactly how I wanted it to. So I'm going to be using the Morphe 35O palette. Um, a lot of the rush shades that I need are in this palette, so I thought that I would go for this instead of the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette since I've used that in, I think, two tutorials? Hmm, I don't remember. But I'm going to be starting off by taking the two first shades right here. And I'm going to set my eyelid with this because I don't like using primers and I feel like this works just as well because I already have a layer of foundation on my eyelid. So I'm just going to set that foundation with powder. In the top row, the third to the left is going to go into my crease as well as the one in the middle of the second row. They're just going to help blend everything out. And I noticed that her eye look feathers out at the end so you just want to make sure that all the colors here just go out now in the second row uh, the second to the last shade I'm going to be taking that into the crease again and this is kind of going to deepen up everything this is going to make that wing look a little bit darker and it's also going to prep our eyes for that dark maroon shade because this one is like that really nice in between color from the transition and the lid shade so if you want, you can go ahead and sharpen up this line with the powder that you use to set your lid. Uh, this is a really nice, easy way for it to look smoked out, but you're not entirely baking. Do you know what I mean? So as you can see, it looks like a lot more fierce and cut 
And so now we're going to go into the actual maroon shade, which is right in the center of the palette. I'm going to be using a Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush, and this is the perfect brush because it packs it on, but it blends it out at the same time, and it is just really beautiful. It's a little bit large, but I mean, it's, it's beautiful. I love it. And so we're just going to sweep this onto our eyelid, and when I blend the two colors, I'm going to pat them together instead of blending it because it's going to mesh in a little bit better. So now in the bottom row, I'm going to take that middle shade and I'm going to apply this in the outer corner just to deepen everything up. I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm going to further blend everything that I just applied just on the tops, um, just so it blends into the skin. Then I'm gonna go in, wait, was it this one? Then I'm gonna go in with one of the transition shades that I used and I'm going to go over um, that place where I blended it, so right on top of here. And this is just going to help further blend it into the skin and make it look seamless. And to quickly brighten my inner corners because I always forget that, we're gonna be using the Becca Opal Highlight. Moving on into the lower lash line, I'm going to line my waterline with a black eyeliner. Oh my god. Oh my god. My highlight just fell out. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god, pause this tutorial. So now I'm going to move on into the face. I am just going to pat down the areas where I have powder. And this is just going to ensure that it is set and I'm just ready to go. We are going to do some quick contouring and bronzing. I'm not really going to contour, scratch that. I'm just going to be bronzing my face today. We're going to be using the e.l.f. bronzing palette. I'm going to go ahead and take the one shade that I hit pan on. This one has shimmers in it, and I think that it would be perfect for this look. In her picture, it looks like she doesn't bring in the bronzer very far down. It looks like it's just concentrated in her cheekbone area to just give her that lifted look. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. And if you're super extra like me, I'm going to go into the Sun Dip Glow Kit by Anastasia. I'm going to take this color called Bronze, and we're going to bronze with it. We're going to we're gonna go ahead. This is just going to be like a little topper to the already bronze shade that we put on. Might as well just bring it onto the cheeks just a little bit because she's not wearing any blush. So this is going to have to be diluted just a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna blend this out. That is what one side looks like. This is without that highlight shade. Yes? No. Bronzed? I've been sun kissed? Yes. I've been in my room for a while. Thank you. I'm gonna take a really big powder brush. I dropped my glow kit. <sighs> I my life. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You scare the shit out of me. What the f Don't wear black in here. You scared me. I'm burning my retinas with my studio lights and then you're looking at me in a black. Oh my god. Ah! While we're here, we're going to contour our nose. So I'm going to take the lightest shade in the palette. Glow Kit is okay. So I'm going to use the Morphe M501 brush. I'm going to take the lightest shade in here and I'm just going to highlight the high points of my face because I can't use my Becca. Um, but she always has like this really nice glow to her skin and it always looks like it's just coming from within. So right when I pack it out, I'm going to blend it into the skin and it's just going to give you like that really nice beaming but it's almost like meshed into my skin somehow. I'm just gonna mist the Mara Badescu spray on my face. I've been trying to find out what kind of lip combination she was wearing in the picture, but the closest thing I could find was this lip combination, so I'm gonna start by using the MAC Whirl lipstick. I'm also going to line my lips with the Rock and Rose lip liner. 
This is just going to help even out the color and my lip shape. And in the center, I'm gonna be applying Jeffree Star's Nude Beach. I got this for $8 because it was his winter sale and I just seen it when I scrolled down and I said, girl. And I only like applying this color over darker colors because this color is way too light for me, as you guys can see. I'm going to ombre with this. And right on top of everything, I'm going to be applying the Dolly Lip Gloss by Buxom. Oh. up this tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Um, please let me know if you're going to be using this look, whether it's for prom, tomorrow, Christmas, next homecoming, never, Sadie's. I don't know. Um, just let me know. I would love to know. And if you're coming here from Jessica's channel, hi. But by now, this is my outro. And I hope you guys really love this tutorial. Um, if you're about to go on to Jessica's channel, be like, hey girl, what's up? I'm here from Jasmine's channel. I'm here to send you positive vibes and, you know, and hugs and, you know, so stuff like that. <laughs> but I hope you guys really enjoyed and if you guys want to see any more prom videos from either of us, then let us both know and we will get right on it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed. As always, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Peace out, Girl Scouts.